All right, let's take a look at an equation where we have some fractions and, you know, don't freak out, but you have to do one step and uh, that'll get rid of all the fractions and then it'll be a much more pleasant experience. So we have x over 2 plus x over 3 equals 1 half plus x over 3. Well, I say uh, as pleasant, I mean as pleasant an experience as solving an equation can be and try to have a little bit of fun, in, even though it's not your favorite thing. Try, try to enjoy it a little bit. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the least common multiple, um, which is the same thing as the least common denominator. So common uh, multiples of 2 would be like 2, and then 4, and then 6, and then 8, and then blah, blah, blah. Common multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 10, not 10, 12, and blah, 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 blah. Alright, so what's, because we want to deal with smallest numbers, what's the least? It's 6. So the LCM or the LCD is 6. And what we're going to do to get rid of our fractions is we're going to multiply everybody by 6 or 6 over 1 if you're a fraction. Since everybody's a fraction in this problem, we're going to multiply everybody by 6 over 1. So over in the corner here, I'm going to say my LCM is 6. And we're just going to multiply everybody by 6 over 1. Every term. Remember, terms are separated by plus or minus signs. So there we are. Our original problem is in the yellow. And then we just multiplied everybody by 6 over 1. Okay. So the first one, we have 6 over 1 times x over 2. 2 goes into 6 3 times. So we're left with 3x. Plus uh, 6 over 1 times x over 3. The 3 goes into 6 twice. 2x equals 6 over 1 times a half. It's going to be 3. And then 6 over 1 times x over 3 is going to be 2x. Okay. All right. Now, you see over on the left-hand side, we got our friends there, 3 and 3x and 2x. They want to they wanna hang out together. So 3x and 2x is going to make 5x. Equals 3 plus 2x. And all the, again, all the x's want to hang out. But in order to move from one side to the other, we got to do the opposite of you. So right now we got a plus 2x, so we're going to do the opposite, which would be the minus 2x. So we're going to subtract 2x from both sides, and we'll have 3x equals 3. So in that other problem, the previous video, I said, oh, well, it's 3. Well, this is the problem I was thinking about. Anyways, you can probably guess what the x should be. It should be 1. We're a little bit lacking of real estate, so we would say uh, we would divide both sides by 3, and we get x is equal to 1. Anyway, so x is equal to 1, and the last thing we got to do is, you know, we want to get all our points, want to make sure we've done it right, is we go ahead and check it. So we're going to check it in the original problem. So we have x over 2, x over 3 equals 1 half, plus x over 3, plug in the 1, 1 half plus 1 third, is in fact the same thing as one half plus one third. So those are the same number. Give yourself a check mark and a smiley face. So one half is the same thing as three over six, and uh, one third is the same thing as two over six. So really, what both sides are going to be is five over six. So five over six equals five over six. Same thing on both sides. We got the correct answer. Good work.